I recently tested this most accurate trading view indicator shared by Power of Trading and it got pretty lame numbers. The win ratio was only 45% and the strategy was barely making any money. So I spent hours and hours backtesting different alternatives and eventually found something really good. This new strategy is way less risky, it finds 10 times better trade entries and most importantly it makes a lot of money. So I highly urge you to watch the video all the way through if you want to fully understand this incredible technique. Okay, so before we start, I just want to show you how the strategy used to look like before making any adjustments. So the setup included three indicators. First, the QQE threshold. This is the indicator you can see on the bottom. Second, the extreme trend. This is the indicator that prints orange and blue triangles. And lastly, we have the 10 in one different MAs, three of which are enabled. So for a buy signal, you needed to have the extreme trend print a blue triangle. At the time the indicator issues a signal, the price action must be above the MAs and the QQE must be green. The risk reward ratio was 1 to 2. And the reason the strategy performed so poorly is because it fails at eliminating losing trades. Just take a look at these signals. We see that we are getting signals to go long at a time when the trend is officially over. So in order to avoid entries like this, we first need to get rid of this QQE indicator and instead of it, we're going to add the trend alert. Generally, we only going to be looking to buy when the trend alert is colored in green. As we can see, out of three losing trades, we eliminated one. So in order to eliminate even more losses, I decided to get rid of this 10 in one different MAs as well. And instead of it, add a Ripster EMA clouds, in which we have to make some adjustments. Okay, the strategy is complete. Now let me show you the entry rules and you will see that these two losing trades will get eliminated as well. So here are the conditions for opening a buy position. First, the price action must be moving above the EMA clouds. Second, the clouds need to be colored in green and blue. Third, the price action needs to pull back into the green cloud, which is the fastest one. During the pullback, the clouds must not change its color. Also, for a valid pullback, the price action must be closed either inside the green cloud or below it, yet it must not exceed the second cloud. By the way, if the candlestick is only touching the cloud with its wick, the pullback cannot be considered as valid. The next condition is to have the extreme trend indicator print a blue triangle. At a time it does so, the price action must be closed above the clouds and the trend alert must be green color. When these conditions are met, you can go ahead and place a buy order. The stop loss will be set slightly below the recent spring low. The take profit will be set at two times the risk. But as soon as the price action reaches a one to one risk reward, your stop loss will be moved to the break even. This way we make sure that we're not taking unnecessary losing trades in case if the market reverses before hitting our take profit target. Okay, here we have another example for a long trade. The price action pulled back into the EMAs again, but if you remember the rules, such pullback is not valid since the price has not crossed and closed inside or below the green cloud. The very next pullback is actually valid. The price action reached a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1, so we're going to move our stop loss to the break even. We can see that if we had not moved the stop loss to the break even, this trade would have resulted in a massive loss. By the way, remember those losses I showed you before? The strategy eliminated all of them because the conditions were simply not met. And the reason I love pullback strategies so much is because you're buying or selling the security at a discounted price. Here we can see that the security is still being overbought as the market hasn't even dropped to its average price. Here's another great example for a long entry. We see the price was moving above the EMA clouds and then it made a pullback. The pullback meets our requirements, so the very next long signal issued by the extreme trend is valid. Alright, now let's learn the short entries. First, the market must be moving below the EMA clouds. Second, the price action needs to make a pullback into the purple EMA cloud. During the pullback, the EMA clouds must not change their color. The candlestick must cross and close either inside the purple EMA cloud or slightly above it without exceeding the red cloud. The next condition is to have the extreme trend issue a new sell signal. And at the time the indicator prints a triangle, the price action must be closed below the clouds and the trend alert must be red color. 
The stop loss will be placed slightly above the recent swing. The take profit will stay at two times the risk. But remember, as soon as the price action reaches a risk reward of 1 to 1, your stop loss is going to be moved to the break even. Here's another example. We see the market made a pullback, so we're getting into the trade at the best price. Just take a look at the difference between entering a trade at this price and at the pullback. You literally saved 17 pips. Okay, here's one more example I want to show you before we move on to the backtesting. As we can see, the strategy spotted the time when the securities overbought in a downtrend and it gave us an entry at the best price. If you have a situation when the price action exceeds the second cloud, then these pullbacks automatically become invalid because this might indicate that the market is reversing. So in order to stay safe, you better avoid entries like this. Okay, traders, I hope you have understood the rules. Now let's move on to the backtesting to find out all the numbers behind the strategy. Okay, the backtesting is finished and here are the results. First of all, it's worth to mention that I set my initial account size at $100 and I was risking 2% of my account per trade in order to make four. By the way, the Trader Edge has finally enabled fees, so I set them at 0.5%. This means that if you have a winning trade, your profit is going to be 3.5% instead of four. And if your stop loss is triggered, you're going to lose 2.5% of your account. So the win ratio for the strategy is 77%. This is crazy high for a such a risk reward ratio. The profit and loss is 689.79%. The profit factor is 4.69. And we had 12 consecutive wins against three consecutive losses. The maximum drawdown is 7.31%. So yeah, this strategy is definitely legit. And if you stick to the rules I just showed you, these are the numbers you should expect when trading live. So go ahead and backtest it on different markets and different timeframes. By the way, if you value your time, I highly recommend you to sign up for Trader Edge. I literally saved over $1,000 by doing a backtest with this app. And most importantly, Trader Edge has everything you need in order to make the backtesting as accurate as possible. By the way, they've also got some strategies that have been proven to work and some other features that will dramatically improve your trading skills. So feel free to sign up for my affiliate link for their 7-day free trial. This way you will also support the channel.